ましょう。Wonderful, wonderful, 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 wonderful Savior, Prince of Peace, Holy God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Hallelujah. Wonderful Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We reverence your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. Good evening. Welcome. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. Happy Create Day number 21. We bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Would you please greet me? Would you welcome each other? And would you please acknowledge the Lord by giving him a praise? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. How great you are, Lord. Hallelujah. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I am just sending adoration and thanksgiving to the Lord through praising Him and acknowledging Him. Hallelujah. Great is your faithfulness, O Lord. Great is your kindness to us, O Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, wonderful Savior. Thank you, wonderful Savior. Thank you, wonderful Savior. Good evening. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I appreciate you for coming in. As you come in, would you please share? Share as you come in. Greet one another. Say hello to me. Glad to see you on today. I trust that you have had. An amazing day with your families, an amazing day with the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hello, hello, hello. Greetings to you, Lady Carolyn Reed. To God be the glory for what he's doing in our lives. Good evening, good evening, good evening. Happy first day of fasting. Today was our first day. Of the fast, and I am、um, excited to hear how your day was. As you come in, would you share with someone? Hello, cousin, how are you? To God be the glory for what He's doing in our lives. He is great, He is wonderful, He is all knowing, all seeing. Would you put an adoration on the On the screen in the comments, can you please flood the comments with the praise? Welcome to those of you that will watch the replay, those of you that will watch this on YouTube, those that would drop by that are our family and associates from Instagram. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the newcomers, welcome. To the visitors, welcome and to the community that I meet each and every week, the faithful prayer warriors and servants of the Lord. God bless you. Glad to be with you, with you on today. God is amazing. God is amazing. Yes, the Lord is my helper. Wonderful. Greetings to you. Wonderful. The Lord is my helper, He is my keeper. Yes, he is. Hallelujah. Who else is God to you? He's my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When my enemies 
came to eat up my flesh. They stumbled and fell. Come on, put a praise up there for who he is. He is my light today. He's my teacher today. He is my teacher. He is the all-sufficient one. I call him Abba Father. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Abba Father. Glory to the name of the Lord. Greetings to those that are coming in on tonight. God is great. God is good. He's worthy to be praised. Um, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. In this setting, this is a community of believers. This is a fellowship. If you want to call it a classroom, if you want to call it life group, which if you want to call it a place of healing, place of deliverance, whatever you call it, give God the glory for it. Look at my college professor. Hey there, Dr. Ann, Dr. Witherspoon, blessings to you and to um, my sister Tangie. Hey, how you doing? Sister Tangie is in here. Dr. Witherspoon, Sister Felicia Brown, God bless you. Lady Reed, you know, Carolyn Reed, I never asked you what your official title was at where you serve. I be calling you everything. Lady is something that I call because people in Europe, the the, the Europeans, um, they usually call people who are dignitaries. They're from their their lady, somebody. Their dads were dukes. They were, you know, they were high um, dignitaries in in different parts of the world. So. It's only in the United States and even in the black culture, I think, where we put lady in front of something, the highest dignitary we know of in a female capacity is not a duchess. It's the first lady of a church. So I'm not trying to call everybody a pastor's wife. It is a culture thing. And I don't believe in the culture in the kingdom of God that the women um, and the brothers even um, have to be limited uh, we are ambassadors. We are dignitaries of the Most High God. So that's why you hear me calling people that I'm not an heir. I'm just using respectful words that are not really popular um, on this side of the equator. But greetings to each of you who are coming in. To God be the glory for all the things that he's done. Great to see um, some faces I haven't seen in a minute. Um, so I thank you so very much. Today started our 40 day consecration. And this is what today looks like. If you have been looking at your, uh, uh, guide on today, if you have been looking at the guide on today, then this is what you will see, uh, for today, um, going through the rest of the week. So, I put this um, format so that you would um, use the days of the week uh, to use as your days of um, devotion and consecration and kind of use the weekend for more reflective time and time with your family. So that's why you see uh, Saturday and Sunday down on the bottom end of the days of the week. So um, I wanted you to use Monday as your official day of using the devotional part of this guide. And so for those of you that haven't been to natashadavis.org to download your free ebook, which is the 40 day fasting guide that we are using to complete our journey. Um, I want to invite you to go to my web page and download your free copy today and follow along with us um, on this 40 day consecration. Um, it's nothing super astringent. You'll be able to follow along. There are modifications, even if you are taking, um, even if you are taking medication. So, um, why are we fasting? We're fasting according to, um, the scripture, um, um, in times, in times, in times of changing of the season. I don't know if you realize or not that by the time the month of March is over, we would have been in a new season. 
uh, we would have been in a new season where we, we would be in spring. And every time there was a great shift or a change of a season in one of the servants' lives, the servant of the Lord, one of their lives, um, you would see great things taking place and they will often go before the Lord with fasting. So I want to encourage you um, that when we talk about shifting, when we talk about having a relationship with God, when we talk about seeking the Lord, that is often accompanied with fasting and even to deepen your relationship with God. Um, fasting is a requirement because your flesh does not want to seek the things of God. Your flesh does not want to seek the things of God. And before we go any further, um, I want to ask you if you have your anointing oil out, go ahead and take your anointing oil out. And um, let's pray before we have our um, time of uh, catching up to see what your first day of the consecration was like. Amen. I want to see what your first day of consecration was like. And Father God, in the name of Jesus, if you need to step out of the room, step out of the room. If you need to um, make uh, a way away from other people that might be distracting you, um, you want to turn on the television, whatever it is that you need to do to have a serious moment, a consecrated moment, um, this is what we want to do. We want to have a consecrated moment with the Lord as we come together as a community and a unit for this corporate time of prayer. Amen. Father, in Jesus name, we want to say thank you today. We want to praise you today, Lord God, for your mercy and your grace. And Father, we want to thank you for this opportunity, Lord God, according to James chapter 4 to come close to you and you will come close to us. And Father, you've given us the invitation to step forward and here we are, Lord. We're here to exercise um, 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 this, this invitation. We're here to operate in this invitation. We're here, Lord, to operate and stand on your word. And so, Father, here we are coming. We have yielded our appetites. We have yielded our our time to spend time with you, learning more of you, asking that you would come and bring us closer to you, O oh Lord. Um, Father, I thank you right now for your word as we lift your word up to you. Your word says that, you're, that it will not return unto you void. Father, you said that heaven and earth would pass away before your word uh, uh, returns to you void and it will accomplish that which you please. And so, Father, I thank you right now, Lord God, for the word of God operating in our lives unhindered and unchecked by any satanic or demonic force. And I just thank you right now for those that are on this journey. Father, we pray over day one all the way through, Lord God, day number 40. We thank you right now in the name of Jesus, Lord God, for your anointing. Lord, we ask you for your anointing because it is your anointing that destroys the yoke. And we give you the praise right now because we can't do it by ourselves, oh Lord. Father, we simply come Lord God, what a made up mind. We simply come with a hungry heart. We simply come, Lord God, um, to thirst after you and to hunger after you. And you said those that hunger and thirst after righteousness, Lord, you'll fill us. And so we thirst for the more of you. Lord, as we move into 2021, as we move towards spring, as we move toward the next season of our lives, as we move toward the next shifting of our lives, Lord, we can't do it without you, oh God. God, your word declares that a righteous man's steps are ordered by the Lord. And so, Father, we just thank you right now, Lord God, that our steps are ordered by you. And Father, we thank you right now, Lord God, that we grab a hold, Lord, to your word with excitement. Oh God, we grab a hold to your word with excitement. And Father, we just thank you right now in the name of Jesus that you said that you would come near to us. Oh Lord, your, your word gives us to know, Lord, that in your presence there's fullness of joy and there's pleasures forevermore. Father, we thank you right now, Lord God, that as we draw close to you, insight, purpose, uh, we thank you right now for direction. We thank you for healing. We thank you for deliverance. We thank you, Lord God, for wisdom. We thank you for clarity. We thank you right now that doors are being opened 
Thank you right now in the name of Jesus. The lion's mouths are being closed. Father, we thank you right now in the name of Jesus that our enemies are being swallowed up by the sea. Father, as we move close to you, O Lord, Father, thank you right now in the name of Jesus for being our covering, for being our protection. Father, thank you right now. Your word declares in Isaiah 58 that when we fast, that you will cause our health to spring forth, O God. And Father, I thank you right now. Your word says that you would be our real reward. Father, thank you right now in the name of Jesus that we will have nothing missing, nothing lacking in the name of Jesus over our blood over our bodies, over our minds, oh God. Thank you from the crown of our heads to the sole of our feet, Lord God, that we are all ready getting better. Thank you, Lord God, that cancer is in the reverse. Thank you right now in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, that signs, miracles, and wonders are already at work. Thank you that our faith is being ignited. Thank you right now that we believe God. We lift up the banner of believing God. Father, we thank you right now in the name of Jesus for a for a for a power surge um, that will flow through our prayer lives. Thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus for the construction of the Holy Ghost, Lord God, putting the drywall back up in our spirits, putting the bricks back in our spirits, putting, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, those things where they belong that have been knocked down because of warfare, that have been knocked down because Oh God of long seasons of, of drought, Lord God, we thank you in the name of Jesus for being our helper, our keeper, our deliverer, our counselor. We thank you right now. We call on your holy, righteous name. We call you Jesus. We call you Emmanuel. Hallelujah. Thank you. We call you God with us. Hallelujah. Thank you for my brothers and sisters, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, those that feel alone. Father, thank you for causing your presence to sit heavily and weightily, Lord God, in their midst, in the name of Jesus. Thank you that through this fret fast, marriages will be restored and repaired. Thank you that through this fast, Father, thank you that businesses will be touched and blessed. Thank you that through this fast, Thank you that college students, Lord, will be strengthened in the name of Jesus. Thank you that favor will fall on our lives. Thank you because we have been in the midst of our Lord and of our Savior. Father, thank you that we've been with our Heavenly Father. Father, we thank you right now for the reward. Hallelujah. According to Matthew 6, we thank you for the reward. Thank you according to Hebrews chapter 11, Lord God, that you have a reward for them that diligently seek you. And Father, we just give your name the glory today for the miraculous for the impossible, for opening up blinding eyes, for those that are at a place of hopelessness, our loved ones, our friends, our family who don't have hope, who don't have lives. Father, only you and you alone know the mysteries that we pray and you and you alone can interpret your plans in our lives. And Father, we just thank you right now in the name of Jesus that life is springing forward, God. Father, thank you right now that life is springing forward forward in our hearts, in our minds, in our spirits. In the name of Jesus, we praise you. We glorify you in Jesus name. Amen. Can you put an amen on the screen if you agree? Hallelujah. Can you put an amen on the screen if you agree? Thank you, Sister Major from the Bahamas for, for joining us. Thank you for, to my Florida family, those of you that are in Georgia and abroad, around the nation, um, and even around the world. God bless you. Hallelujah. Can you give me an amen that you came in agreement with the prayer? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And in the name of Jesus, we rebuke the spirit of darkness, the spirit of depression, the spirit of loneliness. You are a liar. The blood now. We release right now the joy of the Lord, which is your strength. We release right now over you the trumpets of the Lord, the celebration and the songs of God over you in the name of Jesus. Thank you that God is giving you the spirit of rejoicing and praise um, in exchange for the spirit of heaviness. Lift up your head, O ye gates, and be ye lifted up, ye everlasting doors. Hallelujah. The King of glory is coming in. He's coming in. 
He's coming in where the enemy has lifted up a stand, has, has come in your life like a flood. The Lord is lifting up a standard against him. All things are being passed away and behold, all things, hallelujah, is coming, is coming new. All things are being made new. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I want you to declare that I am a disciplined follower of the Lord. I want you to declare that my flesh does not run me or rule me. I want you to declare that my spirit is vibrant and strong. I want you to declare that I am a spirit led being. I want you to declare that I am a spirit led man of God. I'm a spirit led woman of God. I'm a spirit led daughter of God. I'm a spirit led, uh, a son of God. I want you to put some declarations in your atmosphere. Hallelujah. Um, that, 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 that God dwells on the inside of you, that greater is he, come on, stir yourselves up, that greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Hallelujah. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Hallelujah. The just shall live by his faith. And I'm a woman that I live by my faith and I'm not captivated, mesmerized, discouraged, or bamboozled by what I see, but I live by my faith. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The eyes of my understanding is being enlightened because I seek the word of God. I seek the word of God and the word of God is a lamp unto my feet and it is a light unto my path. Hallelujah. Come on, declare, stir, your, stir yourselves up as you get ready. As you get ready, as you, this has already been day number one. Um, there's 39 more days to go. Hallelujah. As you stir yourself up, hallelujah, that I will wait on the Lord, that I'm anointed to wait, that I'm passionate to wait, that, 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 that I'm hungry enough to wait on the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm hungry enough to wait on the Lord and be of good cheer. And God is going to strengthen my heart. By the time this 40 day journey and 40 day consecration is over, Hallelujah. The barriers would have been knocked down. The petitions would have been knocked down. I would be more open and vulnerable and closer. And the eyes of my understanding would have been enlightened even the more. My discernment will be sharper. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I'll be strengthened. Hallelujah. I will be delivered. Yes, 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 yes. That's it. My well is being full. Glory to God. My cup runneth over. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. My cup, my cup. Lord, here's my cup. I lift it up. Hallelujah. Come and quench this thirsting in my soul. Bread of heaven, bread of heaven, feed me. Feed me until I want no more. My soul is been in a in a desert. Hallelujah. And I need to hear the voice of the Lord. I need to be in the presence and the company of the Lord as I've never been in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. That's right. That's right, Minister Lester. Declare what you are seeking from the Lord. Declare what you are seeking from the Lord. Hallelujah. I am a disciplined follower, follower of the Lord. And no matter what comes, no matter what goes, my soul is anchored in Jesus. And I give the Lord another yes. Y'all know that I got these old songs down in my belly. I got another yes, Lord. Hallelujah. In my soul. I got another thank you, Jesus. In my soul. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Just give the Lord another yes. Give the Lord another yes. Been through some trials, but it's still yes, Lord. Been bent over with disappointment and pain, but still my soul say yes. Hallelujah. Been through some transitions in my life. Hallelujah. But I will bless the Lord at all times and his praise shall continually be in my mouth. Hallelujah. I haven't seen all that God has in store for me. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I haven't seen the height of what he promised. Oh, my Lord. But God is faithful. So, yes, Lord keeps ringing in my soul. 
Yes, Lord. Keeps ringing in my soul. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Keeps ringing in my soul. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you so very much for those affirmations. Thank you so very much for putting your declarations in the atmosphere. Thank you so very much. Hallelujah for chiming in um, when we praise. It's comely that we praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It's beautiful that we praise the Lord. We look our best and sound our best. We are at our strongest when we praise and magnify the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Praise the name of Jesus. You get the glory. Hmm. You get the glory. Well, amen, everybody. Um, thank you so very much for um, your time and attention. Um, if you don't know um, and you're just joining that we started our 40-day consecration and it was a great day um, before the Lord today, all day, it was a great day. Started out the day in prayer, started out Sunday reflecting and writing in my journal and um, putting my heart before the Lord and putting my praises and spending time with God. There are a couple of wisdom nuggets that I do want to give you. Um, I have, I was, um, as I was praying this morning, um, this morning, um, the, there was some wisdom that settled on me as we prayed, um, this morning. Uh, a lot of times when we think about, um, fasting, um, a lot of times what we do is we take stuff out, but we don't put things in. Even for those of you that are living a wellness lifestyle in your diet, um, or you take supplements, um, or you try your best to eat a clean diet, um, just on the eating part, we'll leave the spiritual part off for just for a moment, just for a moment. But when we talk about, um, when we talk about eating well, a lot of times they, when people say that I'm going to do better, um, sometimes what encourage discourages people is what they take out. And sometimes what they take out is the things that leave them weak, um, and leave them, um, deficient. And so, I want to encourage you that as you are fasting, there are plenty of foods for you to still have. Um, but as you are fasting, there are some things that I do want you to consider um, to put in your diet. And if you are under um, doctor's care, I want you to consider giving your doctor's office a call. Um, but those of you who are not taking flaxseed oil, I want you to consider taking some flaxseed oil. If you just so happen to come by this page, do not. Um, and you sell like life stuff. Don't send that. Don't send your advertisements to me. I'm not trying to be rude. I'm not trying to be disrespectful. I'm a leader in a consecration on today. And I'm not um, asking you or inviting you to stop by this holy assembly to, with no commercials. Um, I mean, you no disrespect and please don't, um, think that I'm being disrespectful. Um, but I'm not going to put God's people in a place where you can capitalize and commercialize them. So, um, if you just, just so happen to see, um, this broadcast and you see me with this product up, um, I'm simply saying to you, if you do not use flaxseed, this just so happened a brand that I, the brand that I have right now, if you do not have flaxseed oil, I want you to consider um, using it. Why? Because it's good for your cardiovascular system. It's good for your immune system. It is an essential um, fatty acid. Um, you need oils in your bloodstream and your cell stream you need it to help you with your muscles some um even help you with um some bone health so i want you to consider putting it in your smoothies um i usually put some in my oatmeal um so uh i want you to consider putting that in i really want you to be in a place to where you are healthy daniel chapter number one um, this is what I thought about um, when I was in prayer this morning. Daniel chapter number one, even before we we talked about Daniel chapter number 10, where the Bible says in Daniel 10, he was in three weeks mourning um, and that he had not had any 
um, um, meats or, or bread or anything like that, any sweet breads or anything like that, um, in chapter number 10, but in, in chapter number one, as a lifestyle, as a lifestyle, you will find in chapter number one, um, the Bible says that Daniel, uh, when he was taken in, um, to the Babylonian people, um, you know, he had favor with, um, you know, with, with, uh, the caregivers, he had, he had favor. And, um, verse eight says that, you know, Daniel had purposed in his heart that he would not defile himself with the king's portions of meat, nor would with wine, which, uh, which he would drink. Therefore he requested of the prince and the eunuchs that he may not defile himself. Um, and the Bible says that now, God had brought Daniel into favor and tender love with the prince of the eunuchs. And, um, and the Bible says in verse 10 of chapter number, um, verse 10 of chapter number one of the book of Daniel and the prince and the eunuchs, um, um, the prince and the, and the eunuchs who were appointed to give him meat and drink, um, he, they told Daniel, he said, we're going to be in trouble if you go before the king and you look downtrodden and your skin and your complexion is a different color because we haven't taken care of you because of your diet. Listen, he said, because of your diet, you're going to look uh, weak. And Daniel said to them, um, he said, I'll make a deal with you. He said, in 10 days, in 10 days, if you just give me these certain health foods in 10 days, uh, which was pretty much like water and like um, leaks and stuff like that. Uh, he said, if in 10 days, if we don't look healthier, then I'll do it your way. And so um, the prince that was over the eunuchs um, permitted Daniel and the other Hebrew sub boys to do this thing. And they were able to... Um, they were able to live healthy, vibrant lives without taking in all of these different varieties, different um, meats and, and wines and things like that. So I want to encourage you. Um, I want to encourage you that as a way of life and as a way of living, there's a way of living. You, you, you really can live a healthy lifestyle. And I want to encourage you, um, according to the, the word of God, that when you take some of this stuff out of your diet, Daniel took some things out of his diet, but he replaced it with something. So many of you, the reason why you can't stay on a healthy wellness track is because you take all of this stuff out of your diet. You don't eat French fries, but there are no supplements, not necessarily supplements, but there is still something degenerate and um, negligent in your diet. And there are some nutrients that you need. What the French fries will do or what the bad food does, it, that it releases some chemicals in your brain to make you feel like you are satisfied. But really, there still are some deficiencies there. That's why when you begin to detox, you feel sluggish because... Um, you know, those fillers, um, are not in your body anymore. So I put, um, flaxseed oil, um, in my oatmeal. And sometimes it's hard to see where the camera is. And so sometimes, um, I put it in my smoothies, but one of the ways of how I do it, um, is I put it in my, my oatmeal. And this is how I eat my oatmeal in the morning. I just have oatmeal. I have oatmeal made with almond milk, a dash of cinnamon, and sometimes I put some almonds on top or some berries on top. Um, or if I'm feeling like I need to have a fuller meal, then I'll just scramble an egg or fry egg and put it on the top of that for some protein. So um, I just want to encourage you that this fast does not have to be something that you um, torment yourself about. It's time for you to have a better understanding like Daniel is that what your countenance and your disposition ought to be when you work a job, when you show up at school, even if you're retired and you don't go to a job per se, but just to show up 
and to have like better skin and bone health and immune system, having these things in your in your diet is definitely going to help you. Another thing that I discovered when um, I would go and preach a lot, um, generally I would not eat. And so long periods of fasting, if I do liquid fast, like if I'm going to do a revival uh, or I know that I'm going to extend or do some heavy lifting in the spirit realm, um, I fast a lot. So, um, but one of the things is, is though, when you do a lot of fasting, it breaks down your potassium. And so if you fast and you have a lot of cramps in your legs and stuff like that, it's because the potassium levels in your body um, are gone. So, uh, or low. So I want to encourage you, you don't necessarily have to get this brand. Um, I like this brand, um, but also it has the one that has the coconut, I mean, the pineapple flavor too, of it too. So um, I want you to incorporate the coconut water um, because of the potassium. Let me tell you some potassium enriched foods that I found out. I spoke to a nurse and I let her know that, hey, when I'm fasting, this, that, and the other. And she said, well, when you do those things, then I need you to either take a potassium um, supplement, which I do take a potassium supplement. Um, and then I eat um, um, baked sweet potatoes have a lot of, has a lot of, um, baked sweet potatoes have a lot of uh, potassium. Um, um, asparagus has a lot of potassium in it. Um, as I said, the coconut water has a lot of potassium in it. So, um, you eat some foods and take your supplements and things like that, according to your body, not according to Natasha Davis body, but according to your body. And so, um, I also take magnesium. Um, I like this one because it's, uh, the triple, it's the triple, um, it's the triple source. I only have to take one a day, as you can see it right here. I only take one a day. Some magnesium, you have to take, you know, two of them or three of them a day. And really, you need the, you need some um, magnesium um, um, definitely in your life. I like this one because it gives me a little bit more milligram um, for, for, for this particular dosage. And it's for... Um, muscle health and strength and stuff like your circulation and things like that. Um, um, magnesium is just not to send you to the bathroom because that's what people tell us that they, you know, take it for, but that's not really true. I want you to tr do your homework. Um, another thing is that I put in my oatmeal and in my smoothies is this collagen. Um, it is a substitute. Some people can't take it because it's, it has, um, um, you know, facets of dairy in it. Uh, it's, it is a level of, of protein. So, um, I'm going to ask you that some, not all collagen has, um, uh, dairy, um, compounds in it. So I want you to just start looking, um, you know, ask your, ask your, uh, doctor or your nurse or, nutritionist or whoever it is, but these are just things that help you feel better, um, in terms of not being deficient. There are like a few other things that I could do, but this is not like dietary one-on-one. I just wanted to give you some things to let you know that you can incorporate some foods and some supplements to help you feel better on a daily basis. Um, and when you start to uh, go into Tuesday and you're not having anything, um, you know, your body won't be in such shock. It won't be in such shock. Um, it won't be in such shock. So um, I want you to build up on the healthier things um, so that you already have a lot to combat and you already have a lot to cast down. So on the days where you can wake up eating, start out on the right foot. Um, after 6 p.m., please go into recovery mode. Um, I want you to go into recovery mode by um, putting these things in your body, putting these things in your body. As soon as you're able to sit down and have a meal, I want you to start putting these things in your body.
Thank you, Minister Lester. I appreciate you. Look at my mom. I'm popped in the room. Amen, Dr. Clark, for those of you who don't know my mother, my spiritual mom. All right, so anything else? Um, any other questions? Any, of course, I just, you know, kind of sprung some stuff on you. Um, any other questions? We always skip when we talk about the uh, extended period of fasting. We always talk about um, how Daniel, you know, mourned and fast three weeks. Um, but we don't talk about up front. In chapter one, he said, listen, y'all culture and the way y'all eat and live, that's not, that's, that's overtaxing for how my body is working. It's, it's, I need to have permission to eat um, a different way. And so I want to bring that up in, in, in our class on tonight, that even in Daniel chapter one, before he even got to, you know, 10 chapters later or nine chapters later, where we were talking about that he uh, fasted and prayed before the Lord. I still want you to know that Daniel had a mindset about how he ate um, and his appearance and his wellness, even before, um, you know, even before he went on the fast and on the consecration. So um, God bless you, Bishop Carrington. Good to see you tonight. So before you, before you take on day, t um, day number two, um, day three, it will be um, Tuesday and Tuesday is water only from 6A to 6P. If you got to get up earlier than six o'clock, five o'clock to take your meds, um, then you do that. Uh, but those of you don't play no games with your soul, yourself and your soul, your soul and your body. Don't play no games. Um, the fast will do what God designs it, designed it to do. You don't have any control over spiritual matters. Um, it is a mystery what God is doing during the time that you are submitted to him. Um, the only thing that you can control is having some good sense. And so if you were going to get up at five o'clock in the morning and take your medication or you need to take your eat, if you need to eat breakfast um, before 6A or whatever, um, just make sure, just, just make sure there, there are packets that people are using with, um, electrolytes. Now this has electrolytes in it. It says, um, it says electrolytes on here. Um, and it, it's not the type of electro electrolytes that's loaded with a whole bunch of um, sodium. You, you do need some sodium, um, but it has like some of the other vitamin and cal um, like calcium. It has, you know, loads of potassium and vitamin C and it, this even has um, magnesium in it as well. It has like, you know, a long list back here of vitamins that's in here. So um, I just want to let you know that there are some things that really um, help me uh, even in my time when I'm just doing um, the best to take care of myself. And that's a part of your um, spiritual practice as well. And let me talk about black people for a minute because I'm black. And a lot of times um, as black people, the more suffering, I guess your mindset would say, the more, su more suffering you do, the more effective it, that you're being. Um, you know, that's right and wrong at the same time. Um, I want to say to you, um, don't be foolish. If you're under doctor's care, just make sure that you have an invest invested in things. Um, especially when it comes to taking care of yourself. I am from the generation and from the school is, um, is that please don't put, um, your hair, your nails, your makeup, um, you know, you know, your tires, your, you know, don't put all that stuff ahead of you having a degenerate liver and having bad vision because you don't eat well and you have a pasty skin. And now you want to, you know, you want to um, invest hundreds of dollars in makeup, but you don't have a good, you know, diet or you don't have like a good system of taking care of your skin. A lot of what you put in your body 
comes out in your pores. A lot of what you put in your body comes out in your personality. A lot of what you put in your body comes in to what you feel like doing. So um, um, we're going to be good stewards of our souls. Um, we're going to be good stewards of our bodies. And so I'm just going to spend just a few moments talking about, um, about um, committing yourself to, um, um, to being before God. I don't have this scripture, so if one of the elders or the ministers can look it up for me. Um, Elijah, um, when he killed the 800 uh, prophets of Baal, um, the Bible talked about how he um, was intimidated by Jezebel's threat, and he ran. And when he ran, he ran into a cave and... Um, you know, he went to sleep, you know, and he was there for some days. And the Bible says that God sent an angel. Um, those of you who are with me, you know that, um, this, this particular text mesmerizes me. Um, it mesmerizes me, uh, that out of all the things in the Bible I've seen God, um, do, um, to have an angel do but this particular angel was in the cave with Elijah cooking him a cake. Listen, um, cooking him a cake. Um, and if you do your research, it's, I think it was something like with raisins and whatever the, 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 whatever the equation of like, um, you know, um, some type of, you know, energy loaf or something. If you do your research, the, we did, they, their food was much different than ours, but um, the Bible said that he cooked. He cooked the, the angel cooked him a cake, and so he woke um, Elijah up. The angel woke him up to eat um, and gave him some water, and then Elijah went back to sleep. The angel woke him up a second time to eat, and he said, "The journey is too great for you." And so he woke him up and he told him to eat. And so a lot of times when people faint on the journey, they faint on a journey for several reasons. They faint on the journey because they do not have the physical fortitude and they faint on the journey because they don't have the spiritual fortitude. And so I will tell you after having been through the traumas that I have been through in my life, I would not be where I am and who I am today if I had not had a strong spiritual practice in my life of fasting and prayer. There was no way that I would have been able to be in my mind today. I give God the glory. A lot of the things that I've been through in my life, people are taking medicines for depression they are taking medicines for schizophrenia. They're taking pre um, medicines for um, post-traumatic stress. Um, um, but when I was born in the kingdom of God, I came in fasting and praying. I came in fasting and praying. When you fast, the Bible says that um, God undo heavy burdens. Um he, I still had to go through some counseling. I believe in counseling. I believe in um, um, psychotherapy treatment. I believe in um, you talking to someone. I believe in someone coaching you, counseling you. I believe in all of that. Um, and all of it has its place. But listen, even if you have not had um, great impacts in your life like sexual abuse, you still from the day to day to keep you from being lazy to have a lot of excuses um, because when you have a lot of excuses, that means you have a spiritual weakness, you have a mental weakness, and there is some level of, 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 of un, um, undisciplined like characteristics in your life. Are you talking to somebody who dropped out of school in the eighth grade? So for me to return to school, even enter into college, um, it took some disciplines to get myself to a place to where I could do the heavy lifting in the spirit realm and in the natural. 
So I want to say to you, when we talk about turning our plate down, it's not just a matter of you going on a diet for 40 days. It, you will have, um, you will have some healings that happen in your body. Your liver will go through a healing. Um, some of us, um, the liver is supposed to be, you know, um, you know, kind of like a, 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 a maybe a small, but it's enlarged. You know, some of them, you know, are lar enlarged because of the grease and because of the fat and, and because of all of the, you know, bad carbs and stuff like that. So your body is going to go through a healing. Your spirit man is going to thrive and get energized as you fast. And your mind is going to get clarity because now you have a thought to focus on. And your responsibility is to keep all the other thoughts that are in demand of your attention to... Um, to, to, to take a back seat. And so Jesus called his disciples disciples because they are that they are disciplined followers, disciplined followers, disciplined followers. So in order to follow a spiritual practice of any kind, to be able to follow Christ and to thirst and to pay attention to the things that he wants us to know and the things that he's saying to us as individuals and as a corporate body, you are going to have to follow a regimen. Being on a 40 day consecration, consecration does not mean you are released like chickens. Like you can just not eat. And that makes up, um, what the fast is. It is a guided Place. When Jesus fasts 40 days in the wilderness, the Bible says that he was led. He was disciplined enough to follow the leading of the Holy Ghost. And when he was there, uh, um, he was tempted. So during this fast, you can expect your body to be tempted, your mind to be tempted. Um, you can be in a place to where your weaknesses begin to, um, begin to rise up. And you have to have um, um, some things to, to fortify yourself and to anchor your soul and to anchor your spirit man. Um, and so Jesus had, it is written. He knew the word of God out of his spirit, man, um, came the, the, the sword out of his spirit came the hammer out of his spirit came the ax, the battle ax out of his spirit came the battle tools that he need needed to defeat the enemy. Now, this war and this temptation was about his next season. So as you go through March, it's just not you're going to come out on the other side of spring, but you need to come out on the other side of spring in the spirit and in the natural prepared. And you need to come out with the agility that you need, the focus that you need, and you have to come out with, um, some time in and some seeds in the ground, um, for the Lord to speak to you, which is a invitation. You're inviting the Lord to share his plans. You're inviting the Lord to share his promises and to give you instruction. So I encourage you these weekly prompts that are, that is in your guide, please stick with it. You, I'm making a declaration, will not be these people that you look up in a year and they're still in the same place. They're stuck. They don't have, they haven't done the spiritual work. Let me tell you something. Any person, if you're seeing me for the first time, if you're hanging out on this broadcast for the first time, this platform is about spiritual development. I'm not into... Um, just being on here, giving you presbytery and prophesying over you and not being interested in your growth and your development, because whatever prophecy or presbytery I give you, you're not going to have the spiritual fortitude to walk it out and to see the manifestation of it. That is immature, saints and friends. It's immature. You get a word from God and you shout and you write it down, but you never apply it or... Uh, you never get to a place to where you do the soul work that you need. How are you going to do the soul work if you are fearful? 
I mean, the you know, if you're spirit, if you're if you are spiritual, how are you going to walk in the things God called you to? How I could not be even on this broadcast with you had I not did the spiritual work. Had I not did the spiritual work, because there were so many doubts running in my mind, there was so many to be able to to be able to open up my mouth and prophesy to anybody. I had to get to a place to where I had to fast and pray and even to see the activation of, of the gifts that God had given me in place. Listen. Pay attention. We've been on here for a little while, and that's the first time I said that. Wow. Wow. So listen to me and pay attention. We're interested in growing. We're interested in developing. We're interested um, in God uh, stationing us in this next season of our lives um, strategically, right? So that's what this 40 days represents. It represents a, a preparation, not just the days, but you putting the time in and you doing the work over these 40 days to truly talk to the Lord and do those things that have been in our teachings in the last um, few sessions. And, and if you're stopping by for the first time, um, I want to, I want to say to you, if you're stopping by for the, for the uh, first time, um, please uh, go to my YouTube page, Natasha and Davis in the search bar and see the prior um, teachings on the center of fasting, um, and, and, and those level of, of teachings. Um, those of you who struggle with, um, disorders, um, those of you that struggle with, um, mind issues, those of you that have a lot of, um, emotional trauma, a lot of how you overcome that is yes, working with somebody, but you have to also understand there are some spiritual, um, things that you have to do as well. There's some spiritual things you have to do as well. And so um, if it were not so, um, Jesus, um, um, you know, wouldn't have said it in his word that, um, you know, that, that he's, he, you know, he's, he said in his word, I believe it's um, actually Paul wrote it. Timothy wrote it, second Timothy seven and one. Um, for I'm not giving you the spirit of fear, but of love, power, and a sound mind, right? James 4, which is our foundation scripture for this fast, James 4, come close to God, right? And he'll come close to you. He said, purify your hearts, you sinners. Um, and he, he was talking about cleansing our, 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 our hearts, you know, double, du the double-minded, um, I don't have it up uh, here to quote it to you verbatim, but in the NLT, that's what it says. Double mindedness. That's one of the things that you have to um, work on when you are fasting is transforming your mind, which is the lead muscle um, on how your life goes. Your mind is the lead muscle. Your mind is the lead muscle on how your life goes, that mind that mind. And so thank you, Minister Lester, for putting it up there. For those of you who took notes tonight, First Kings 19, 5 through 8. Thank you so very much. Read that. Um, it talks about um, the strength that you need and what the angel was doing for Elijah in his state of panic. In his state of panic. So um, you won't have to be prophecy hungry and you won't have to be Prophecy thirsty if you walk a walk before the Lord and prevent and, and permit him time to be close to you, to be close to you. And this is what we want. We want all barriers, issues, anxiety. Uh, we want we want all of that stuff, um, you know, to be casted down and we want you to be walk, walking in the throttle um, power of the Holy Ghost uh, for you to hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying to you. All right. Any questions? If you need the guide, go to my webpage, natashadavis.org forward slash blogs, and you'll be able to download this 13 page ebook that has the um, 
the meditations and scripture readings for the week. And um, it will also have um, the food guide here. And so this is what we talked about today. Um, so I'm going to go through the notes and make sure um, that all the stuff that we put out today was um, in the notes for you to see it. Um, and, um, this week, this is what your, for the next 20 days, this is what your diet looks like. Thank you, Minister Lester. For the next, you know, 20 days, this is what your diet is supposed to look like. Can you have, um, I mean, to me, you know, a cooked vegetable would be, would be baked sweet potato. Please don't, um, you know, ask me what vegetables are included or not included. All the vegetables are included. The only thing that you can't do to them is fry them. Um, you can have whole grains, whole grains, whole grains. Um, and, and, and we'll leave it at that. You can have poultry and fish. You just can't have it fried over the next 20 days. And then the next 20 days beyond that, those things will be eliminated no fish, no dairy, and things like that the last 20 days. All right, so um, going once, going twice, are there any questions? I know that there's like a small delay between me um, talking and you receiving, but are there any questions? Are there any questions? Oh, Lord, my Lord, how faithfulness, how faithful you are, how faithful, how faithful you. How you doing, Octav Octavia Staggers? Good to see you. It's been a minute. Good to see you. Any questions? Any testimonies? Um, we know we're still rejoicing for Sister Major and her family. The Lord blessed her with um, paying a $93,000 bill. Uh, for her granddaughter. God is not broke and he's not cheap. Um, he's alive and well and anything you need from God, he's got it. Um, and so we love him today for being faithful. Um, in just 12 days, the Lord paid a $93,000 debt in 12 days. They put the GoFundMe up um, on February the 6th, and um, I forget on exactly what day she inboxed me and told me it was paid, but whenever I gave my donation, it was only at 6000 and something dollars, and all I know is two days later, the $93,000 was paid in full. So whether one person wrote a check or whatever went on, all I know is that God will and he can show up in any dilemma, in any situation. And um, Sister Major is, is a um, faithful woman of God who is a giver. Um, she is a, a believer um, and she believes in fasting and um, setting her entire family and her life before God as his servant. So you deserve it because God has counted you worthy. I love you, each and every one of you. Um, I want to tell you about our lineup. Um, March the 5th, um, we'll have Pastor Barry and Linda Townsend in Jacksonville coming to minister to us on our theme, which is closer. Um, and then the Friday after that, which will be the 12th, we have Pastor um, Justin and Candace Thomas in Gainesville uh, coming to minister to us on our topic and theme closer. And then um, the Friday after that will be my brother in Connecticut. Prophet Dwayne Britt will be with us on that Friday night, the 19th, um, to minister to us on our theme. Um, then the Friday after that, we will have uh, Prophet M and um, Prophet Ricky Porter in Brunswick um, to minister to us. And then on April the 1st, to close us out, will be Prophetess Dr. Donis McCoy, who is here in Atlanta, Georgia. So um, looking forward to that. 
Um, looking forward to be us being enriched and poured into um, by the men and women of God that will grace us um, on the platform at that time. All right. To God be the glory for what he said and what he's doing in your lives. Have a blessed and a productive week. I love each of you. If you want an opportunity to sow, um, if you want an opportunity to give, it's always here, always available to receive your seeds in, in love. Um, the cash app is down there. And Natasha N. Davis is my cash tag handle. And um, you can give on my website as well. And you can go over to PayPal and search me by Natasha Ann Davis. Amen. Thank you so very much, cousin. It's been a great day. It's been a great, great, great day. All right. I love y'all. I'll see y'all on Friday. See y'all on Friday. Talk to you soon.